What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick and this is Valor Aquaponics. I'm going to try to do another short video for you guys today. I'm just going to show you some of the up and coming vegetables that are coming uh, that will soon be available on ValorVeggies.com and hopefully into the local markets if we can uh, try to help out with some of the supply, supply chain issues. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. So first we're going to start off here at the, the vine tomatoes. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's probably not going to focus too well on these little tomatoes here. But we've got some cherry tomatoes. So we've got uh, probably about a dozen growing. Um, we have quite a few plants in here. So we're hoping, and there's tons of flowers. So like right here, it's not going to focus. It's, of course it's not going to focus. But we have tons of flowers like here. Uh, which is not going to focus again. And we have more flowers up here, up here. So tons of flowers. Um, so we're hoping for quite a few more uh, vine tomatoes or uh, cherry tomatoes uh, in the coming weeks. So um, it'll probably take until uh, early to mid February to start really getting enough of these to, to sell. Um, this, we're going to probably sell them in clamshells probably eight ounces so uh, six or eight ounce so, um, so we have those I'm gonna uh, head, let's head on over to oh yeah let's head on over here so here we have these are Roma tomatoes so we have one two three four five five that are you can actually notice noticeably see and then we have quite a few that have just been pollinated. So, uh, yeah, we have this one kind of laying out because it's, it's gotten, this, is, this thing's about like 12 feet long. So um, we kind of have to lay it across this bed. But yeah, we've got some, some Roma tomatoes, not a lot. I think this is our only Roma plant, but we've got more in the works. So uh, let me show you guys some other stuff here. So over here, we actually have quite a few so let me see if I can show you guys right here. So we have a couple there. We have one. We have a couple right here. There's another one here. Another one back here. There's a whole little cluster down here. Those are Wisconsin 55 tomatoes. We also have cucumber. Uh, we have some peas, but we don't think we're gonna really sell these. Uh, the, uh, this was kind of more of an experiment, but we do have quite a few pea pods growing, um, but quite a bit of Wisconsin 55s growing, so that's exciting uh, because these are these are great tomatoes for stewing and things like that. Um, yeah, let me show you guys another. So if you guys remember, uh, we used to be a basil farm. Uh, that's all we primarily did for about a year, a little bit more. Um, and then we did and then we realized we can't survive just on basil so uh, but we still needed basil and after the heat wave that killed everything off in um, in August uh, it's taken us a while but we finally have basil um, and it's gonna be starting to go on sale in the next couple weeks here but uh, so if you can see some of these are decent size there's a couple in here that are super super big um, I think I have to get them from the other side but as you can see, you know, decent size. Um, so, and we have quite a few. So this this is still some of the, we had to replace a bunch here, so that's why they're smaller. And then these are more. So these are just about there in terms of size. So like this guy right here, look at that one. It's, it's like four finger lengths wide. Just beefy and we got a bunch of them so another one over here so we're really excited to have basil again I know that we bet we get hounded for our basil so uh, really exciting we've got some romaine lettuce here that we're going to be using for our new salad mixes I don't know if I if I showed you guys that um, but we we received our permit to start doing packaged salads so like what you see at the supermarket in the clamshells 
so like the spring mixes and stuff like that we will actually be doing that and spring mixes will actually start going on sale in the next week or two um so yeah like look at this guy nice beautiful dark leaves uh so yeah these are doing really fantastic uh let me see if i can oh yeah here he is look at that leaf look at that leaf that's bigger than my hand so doing amazing it smells amazing in here if you know what amazing fresh basil smells like uh ours that's what ours is uh we have some of the best basil i think in the country um our customers uh will not argue with us i know our our vendors love our basil so really looking forward to that down here so we have a mix of red oak leaf and red butterhead actually some more romaine um we've got some these are red oak leaves this is green leaf right here uh, some more green leaf and then we've got spinach and kale at the end and then so let me uh, walk around and show you guys the other side so here are still some baby, uh, baby spinach baby kale I believe this is uh, romaine here lots of romaine this is more kale this is more kale this is spinach that's even more kale a different type of kale this is more romaine. So these are all still fairly young. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit. And then these are kind of coming of age. This is a red butterhead. Uh, it's crazy because like these are, so we pulled these seeds uh, or we purchased these seeds and they look like half the time they look like red oak leaves. And half the time they look like, it's like a mix. It's really weird. Um, because this is our red oak leaf right here. Looks amazing, tastes amazing, beautiful. And that's a red butterhead. So, kind of identical, but these are, uh, we've actually started selling these. Um, so we put this in with our, uh, we make a bouquet with uh, the green leaf or the green oak leaf, whichever one's available. And we put the two together and we make these. Uh, we make a bouquet. So these are now for sale. Um, up here, we actually have a full, full bed. It's a whole smorgasbord of stuff. This stuff's not going to be ready for at least another month, uh, maybe you know three to four weeks, uh, and then we've got some more stuff growing over there. So um, basically, so a lot of it to replace here. And then uh, let's walk on over to that first grow bed, which is just like it's growing like weeds. So I'm not sure if I showed you guys how long it's been, but this plant right here is easily a foot tall at the highest point, which is right here. Uh, that's at least no that's actually about 14 16 inches tall um, this guy was down to like here about a month ago uh, maybe six weeks ago um, I don't know if you guys can see back here right there that is a Carolina Reaper slash ghost pepper hybrid it is certified organic so apparently somebody crossed um, a ghost pepper with the Carolina Reaper so it's actually supposed to be hotter than the ghost pepper, but it's supposed to be as flavorful as a Carolina Reaper. Uh, I probably won't test test it because I don't think my stomach could handle it. Um, but we uh, we're, we're hopefully hoping to get more. We have quite a few flowers going on in here, um, and then here we've got some just regular banana peppers. Back here we have serrano peppers that are starting to grow. We've got quite a bit going on here. But let me show you guys what's really exciting. So the one thing that really kind of sets us apart from a lot of other aquaponics farms, uh, first off is that we don't do marijuana. Second is that um, we don't strictly do leafy greens, lettuce. You know, we do a little bit of everything. And we've learned that because through, through business practices, running this thing for a couple years now. So we are one of the only, I know in, in the state of Wisconsin, we're the only organic uh, certified organic strawberry farms so these are some babies these are these are babies but you can see down here got a little strawberry here these are all new so they're starting to kind of branch out and so like we have another strawberry here got another one here got another one here and we have a we have one that's pretty much ready there. We have two more right next to it that are growing. 
we have quite a few strawberries going. Um, so, I mean, we've got at least, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably about a dozen um, that are growing. There's, there's a good little guy hiding in there. Um, so we've got quite a bit of strawberries growing. We're actually, I'm, uh, I'm looking to, I've already actually tasted one of these and it's amazing. Probably the best strawberry I've ever had in my life and I'm not even exaggerating. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. And I'm gonna actually eat that one tomorrow. Uh, just needs another day to ripen. But, uh, and then uh, either this one or this one, I'm actually going to skin it uh, to collect the seeds or at least just take the seeds off. Uh, because I am going to be planting about another, I want to say about another 60 uh, strawberry plants, and that and that's going into kind of a different system um, using a smaller uh, pool that we have. It's a 100 gallon pool. We have some baby koi over there, and just to kind of help out with filtration, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna build a a vertical strawberry bed over there uh, using PVC. So uh, I, I have I already have about. 20 strawberry plants planted um, and uh, so I, I, need, I need some more seeds uh, to buy the seeds when we bought these initial seeds they, they were stinking expensive like so essentially one strawberries worth of seeds was like $30 um, so now it's kind of nice that you know we can just take a strawberry and just take it collect one you know collect all the seeds we need off one strawberry um, so we're really excited uh, we um, we're not sure if we're ever gonna post these online, at least this, these batches, mainly because um, these are pretty much all already, all, all, if, if all of these grew right now, and they were all ready for harvest, I could sell them like in 15 minutes. So um, the demand is, uh, is higher than what we can currently supply, hence why I have to plant a lot more. Uh, we didn't realize that the demand for the strawberries was gonna be so high. So really exciting about this. We're really excited about having the tomatoes. Um, here you can see, uh, so these are Wisconsin 55 plants that have kind of fallen over. But uh, yeah, we've got flowers here. We have flowers right there. There's a bunch of flowers throughout. There's a flower right here. There's a flower right here. And I believe I've pollinated all of these by hand. Um, 99% of them I, I have pollinated. I pollinate everything by hand. So um, I use, it's right, it's actually right there. Um, I take or, uh, certified organic pollen. I actually crush them down for, with a mortal, uh, with a mortar and, and pestle. I think that's how you say it. I, I don't, you know, correct me in the comments if you like, but uh, I, I grind them down and then uh, and then yeah, and then I take a brush and I put them right into the flower. Sometimes I'm a little too rough, uh, but for the most part, uh, as you can see, it's, it's working. So I probably have another good 20 uh, Wisconsin 55 tomatoes in the works right here. I know I've seen a couple um, small bulbs. They're somewhere in here. I'm not gonna find them till they start turning red. So there's just too much green. Um, so, and then we've got a bunch of flowers up in here. So, um, new filtration actually I put in. I'll talk about that later. And then, uh, yeah, we're still uh, dealing with this whole grant issue. Um, so that's a whole nother story. Uh, I might make another short video or at least like a 15 minute video to talk about that uh, because it's very frustrating. And we're basically kind of being bullied by, uh, by a company that, uh, that we've been working with for about a year. Um, they've been very rude to us um, and they've been very and now it's becoming just beyond unprofessional so uh, we think they are the ones holding everything up but that's a whole other story we're just really excited to have all these vegetables I hope you're excited as much as we are um, if, if you like uh, if you like what you're seeing give us a thumbs up uh, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can uh, get no notified when we post new videos Especially if we got, if you're interested in learning about what's going on with this grant situation, and what, and then when all these uh, vegetables start growing, and then if you want to see our uh, strawberry bed uh, once it gets built, so yeah, give us that thumbs up. And uh, until next time, we'll see you guys later. You guys have a great day.